Kind of makes you wonder what took Coach Jen Oldenburg so long to get her going. Ten assists a set. And Lily Wagner makes another appearance in the starting lineup. Yeah, that's a, a little bit of an interesting decision on Tim Nolan's part, given that Hazan's got double-digit kills in five of the last six matches. This will be the first conference game she'll play at home. She's currently on the bench. Lily Wagner serves things away, and we are live. First swing belongs to the Buckeyes, and they get the kill. Emmy Selman gets them going. And Selman, the freshman, absolutely 20 or more attack attempts in four of the last five matches for the Wildcats, and she has lived up to that role. Here's our first look at Emily Londot. She tried to go short, but they're able to respond off the block. Londot and Riley Rader get in on the action. Lauren Carter, the former Denver Pioneer, has taken an increased responsibility in setting this year. Rousseau, though, obviously the pinnacle of what a setter can be for this Northwestern team. Drew Wright was serving for Northwestern, and she had the dig for the moment. Combining with Hill there, and we are all knotted up. Another block. The duo of Hill and Randorf getting up there. But that time, Webker gets past them, and Ohio State wins the race to 20. Hill to serve. Gibson setting up Webker again, but the block is stronger than the swing. Still a tight one in the closing stages of the opening set. Webker, they keep going to her. She's having quality swings. So is Uli Wagner, but the block is there. Gibson and Brandewe. Buckeyes once down six in this set. Have the chance to win it here. Off the serve from Hasbrook. Tough reception, goes as an ace. Ohio State comes back to win the opening set, 25-23. Hasbrook takes the service line. Commits an error, Northwestern strikes first. We might be on triple-double watch for five kills, six assists, eight digs. She already has one this year. She got it in the conference opener against Maryland. Here's a joust. It's sent to Northwestern side. Wagner off the tip. Londot from the back row. Great placement. Londot, six kills and six digs. Here's an overpass. What can Ohio State do? Brandewe finds the floor. Overpass from right, but a great dig from Wagner to keep it up. Power is set from Reed to send it over. Selman with another kill. Ohio State scored five of the last six. They're currently doubling up the Wildcats. Make it more as Summers goes right into the block. To take a step back and let Selman run the offense so far tonight. Carter for Summers. Nice dig from Hoffman, who is coming off the service line. Right, puts one right over our heads. Point Buckeyes. Wildcats trailing by nine. Sophia Summers takes the service line. Summers tonight, two digs, three blocks. Another great keep up for the Buckeyes. Here's Wagner with a roll. Easy enough for Hasbrook. Every time Webker takes a swing, it's gonna take the roof off this building. And a block puts the Buckeyes four points away from their second straight set win. That was Londot sliding over. That's her third. Currently a hitting percentage of zero in set number two for the Cats. Here's Wagner into the block. Navarrete tried to keep it up. No dice. The kill down the pipe and then taking care of the overpass ball. Such a dependable force for Tim Nolan in the middle of the court. Webker is blocked. Guess who? Just when the momentum was building and the crowd was really getting back into it, giving the Buckeyes a free point, one away from taking the second set. A powerful player like Reese Webker ends this set off an ace. That's two straight sets now. Ohio State's one coming off the ace. For Ohio State, Reese Webker has three aces, including what was the closing point in set two. Here's Londa into the block. Ryland Reed, Sophia Summers get up and put the ball down. She's been all across the middle of the court to great success. Londa gets it right back for the Buckeyes. 
Drew Wright picked up an ace on her last serve before the timeout. She went right at Londot. That opened up the door for Selman, but good reaction time from Northwestern to keep it alive. Londot, Rousseau saved it enough for the back row to get there. Wright sends it over. Selman though, giving that back row a tough time. And now Reed gives the Buckeyes a free ball. Buckeyes attacking on all fronts. There's the slide dug out by Wright. Reed takes the roll. Here's Londot from the back row with the tip. Point, Ohio State. And this Northwestern defensive front starting to get a little overwhelmed by it. Tough serve from Carter. Now she sets up Rousseau with the tip. Hasbrook quickly to it. Selman forcing it to the back. And now Reed on the far side. Good dig, but it's an overpass. Kept on the Buckeye side. Selman. Kill number 13 for Emmy Selman. Have a night. My goodness. Now she's just one kill away from her 12th 15 kill game in the last 13. But there's another kill from Raider. That was early in the first set as well. Raider just forcing it down, but Carter's there. Here's Wagner again. Good up from Hasbrook. Londa changes the pace. Wagner again just has to force it forward. Good reaction in the front row from Rousseau. And another good up from Hoffman. Webker can't find it. Rousseau does. Now with nine kills. 23-21 the score. Webker attacking error. It's a one point set. But you can't afford to do anything crazy here. Overpass. Wagner was there. The Buckeyes, one away from finishing off this domination. Here's Raider. Rousseau, still looking for that 10th kill. Power set. Right, setting up Wagner. She forces it away. Londot in the block. Point Northwestern, tied again at 24. Kennedy Hill. Rousseau keeps it up. Wagner on the far side again, into the block. Brandewies fired up, match point again for Ohio State. Londot has an ace tonight. Ohio State's won both their sets off the ace. They do it again. Ohio State picks up their first conference win. And how sweep it is for Ohio State. Yeah, just a really brilliant performance 